there is another silent epidemic sweeping through your organization it's spreading from one person to another this infection is also dangerous not because it can't be cured but because most of the time we are powerless to stop it no i'm not talking about covid 19 i'm talking about information overload when most people hear the words infection and information overload together they usually approach information overload like it's no problem as if it's an easy fix but every day information overload threatens to ruin your career and business if you miss a critical piece of information your organization could be hurt or affected negatively fail to share the information with your co-workers untimely and your entire team may suffer fail to keep up with the demand and you may miss something very critical we are actually drowning in information the problem seems to be accelerating we are bombarded with more and more information while receiving less time to process it what's worse it's affecting our health and limiting our ability to do our jobs. Let's look at some numbers. A research study has found that 25% of the workers experience significant stress and poor health due to the volume of information they are required to process. 36% of managers reported poor health due to the excessive information they were required to process in the workplace. 68% of those managers felt that information overload has had a negative impact on their personal and professional relationships. And a whopping 73% of them felt they needed enormous amounts of information to do their jobs well. Yet these same managers reported that information overload is hurting them. And 33% felt that they were suffering from poor health due to information overload. 66% reported tension with their co-workers and management as well as reduced job satisfaction. And 62% admitted their social and professional relationships were suffering. As you can see and very well appreciate that information overload is a large problem that only continues to get worse. But why? The reason is that most people don't recognize the signals, symptoms and signs of information overload. And so they continue to suffer in silence believing that there is something wrong with them. Professionals struggling with information overload are typically ambitious and highly driven people. So they may feel that they are at the end of their rope. They are anxious, irritable and not able to focus on their work. They feel stressed out or maybe feeling overwhelmed with their life. What makes this so difficult to treat is the cause. Information overload is different from person to person and the cause manifests itself in very different ways. So in this video we will look at what causes information overload and how you as a leader, manager or a professional can manage this information overload to stop its adverse effects on your business on your career, on your health or on your life. But before that, please take a moment to like this video so that it stays with you as your future reference point and subscribe to our channel with pressing the bell icon as we regularly post content to help you grow, succeed and find solutions to your business related, career related and life related issues. What causes information overload? The cause of information overload may actually surprise you. When asked about the cause of information overload, our natural inclination is to simply state the obvious. The cause of information overload is too much information. But there is more to it than that. In fact, the problem is less about the information and more about our response to information. What does that mean exactly? Expectations around information have changed. Expectations regarding response times have shifted dramatically. We used to have a few days or weeks to respond to a particular piece of information, example a message or a request or learning etc. But now 
we are expected to respond in seconds in minutes or max few days the demands placed on us have grown exponentially information based demand has grown we are expected to take our work home with us and with work from home that problem has only magnified thanks to smartphones social networks smart TVs and IoT devices we are constantly flooded with information our employers expect us to work days nights and even on weekends we are expected to work faster harder and longer our performance is expected to grow exponentially we are expected to take in more information to do more with less but we are not given the necessary tools and resources we need to accomplish that and what complicates things further is the amount of information we are forced to deal with on a daily basis but less than 1% of the information is ever analyzed or used isn't it surprising so the causes of information overload comes down to people the information processing limitations of each person for example our attitude motivation and our satisfaction our state of mind or condition for example we may be hungry we may be tired or feeling anxious or a failure on the part of the sender to properly screen filter or evaluate the information they are sending to us or maybe the writing and communication skills of the sender the comprehension skills of the receiver requesting too much information joining too many groups organizations etc etc and seeing information as a problem rather than as a part of the job and finally using information to achieve power and control yes the explosion of information we are dealing with is unprecedented this information explosion would be overwhelming on its own but our bad habits make everything much worse our own bad habits amplify the overload damage information isn't the same as information overload it's a key distinction that needs to be made and here's why much of this information was either available and unused or available but inaccessible note this information simply amplifies our existing habits we are forced to find ways to cope with information overload the problem with some of these habits is that they create more overload decrease our productivity and overall performance so we need to understand that there is a time to hold information there is a time to share it and there is a time to delete information there is even a time to ignore information but our habits the very same habits that govern how we use and work with this deluge of information this is the piece that typically leads to information overload so it's less about com- combating information overload and more about forming the good habits around information there are several strategies and approaches you can use to relieve overload you can work with massive amounts of data demands and pressures and still maintain your sanity how it all starts with relevance you can't fight information overload you can only hope to contain it it's a common mistake for some people to place their hope on technology they believe that technology alone will solve the problem of information overload but if futurists are right the problem of information overload is only going to get worse by 2025 it is predicted that information will double every 60 days what does this mean fighting information overload isn't the solution to your problem so what's the solution management while technology will play a crucial role in information management the primary solution will come down to our choices our habits and our responses there are a few approaches that you can take to manage information overload the first is to delegate delegating tasks to the right and relevant teammates or team members or coworkers rather than taking all on yourself can really help 
This is easy enough to understand because you realize that on an average 20% of the people in your organization are actually doing 80% of their work which also includes you. The second is to escape. Yes, escape. This involves making yourself unavailable at a set time for specific tasks every day. If you're doing something really important, close your email client and turn off your phone so that this focuses your attention on the piece of information that matters the most to you. What you are working on right now is the important thing. The third is to use a filter. So use metrics like trustworthiness, conciseness, accuracy, etc, etc to gauge the reliability of an important information source. If you are offered data from multiple sources, you can use these metrics and various standards to filter out the sources you don't want to refer to. This is frightening at first because there is an unspoken fear that lurks behind the scenes. What if I miss something important? But implementing this strategy takes a little bit of faith. If you miss something and you are alerted to the fact, refine your filtering criteria so that you can match the information that matters and then continue. The next one is to automate and this is self-explanatory. People are terrible at multitasking, so it's ideal if you can focus on just one task at a time. So use apps, machines, technology and support wherever you can and whenever you can for the other tasks. Prioritize. Information isn't created equal. At any given point, you may find that one task is actually more important than the other. Sometimes that requires dropping what you are working on. Other times you are required to say no to someone asking for your help with something less important. This isn't rocket science and it's probably something you have heard before. Here's the part most people miss. Prioritization never ends. It's easy for us to prioritize our tasks to plan out our day. Then life comes along and ruins our plans. So change is a signal to reprioritize. And finally apply the reject approach. Some requests, tasks and people should be ignored. If they are not relevant to your work, you are not helping someone on your team or in your network, it's a good idea to quickly delegate the to-dos to someone else. If it's not a fit and you know you shouldn't be doing that or that, it's someone else's job, finding a way to reject a request outright is a wise idea. Worst case, if you are not in a position to change that, change your departments or your work to find a different job. Information is on track to double every 8 weeks with no signs of slowing down. Want to get a handle on information overload? Then learn to manage the information you receive. Using the approaches and actions that we just discussed, you now have the tools and resources you need to eliminate overload and maximize your productivity. So what's the secret to managing overload? Relevance. Work with information that's directly and indirectly related to what you are doing when you are doing it. Do your best to eliminate, filter out or block irrelevant information. Do what you can to ensure that the information you need is available to you when you need it. It all takes practice, requires discipline and depends on your patience levels. Information when it's managed well creates opportunities. The vast majority of people around you are drowning in excess data and information. Their poor choices, bad habits and responses create the information overload on them. If you choose to be different, if you make the right choices, create good habits and work to control your responses, information overload becomes a thing of the past. Hope you found this video useful. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already as we regularly post content to help you grow, succeed and find solutions. Thanks for watching.